Okay, let's get started. Uh, this is for an install of a Trail Vapor on a 2020 Yamaha Raptor 700R SE. Uh, these are a few things that you're going to need for the install. You're going to need a 22 millimeter socket to take off this axle bolt. Get this caliper off next. Okay, next we're gonna have to take off the caliper. Uh, we might need one of these things here, they're great. Uh, Milwaukee makes them, it's like a pivot, 30 degree pivot, I believe. Sometimes you can't uh, get into certain places and this makes, makes it nice and easy. That's a 12 millimeter socket as well. It's on there. There we go. Hit turn up a little bit. You struggle. Turn up to three. Come on, Milwaukee. There we go. Broke her loose. Again, one of these pivoting bits will work really good back there uh, to, to fit in there. Put the bolts over here. Now we'll just set this caliper off to the side so it's out of the way and so we can get this uh, rotor and the hub off. Carefully your brake line. Set it on something. Take some of that uh, weight off of it. Now I do know we need to have to take one of these off, these bolts, and uh, put our magnetic bolt in there for the speedometer. Uh, we'll get to that here in a second. Okay, so I got the device mounted. Uh, as I've seen other people say, it don't sit uh, flush 100% but it's pretty close and might be able to mess with it a little bit when I'm uh, complete with the install uh, and get it a little bit better. I don't have it secured all the way right now. Um, but I didn't order the, the billet case for it. I've read some reviews uh, to where I'd have to change handlebars and stuff like that and I want to do that right now. So. Made sure I didn't block the ignition. Like I said, it's not set in stone yet. I can move it uh, when I'm done here with the install. Just when you're doing this, make sure you have the wires have enough play in them when you turn your wheels and when you your expansion uh, is up and down and expands. So make sure you have enough room. Uh, the directions say three eighths hole. So I just drilled a hole through there for the magnet for the speedometer. 
and here's the uh, the axle bolt that I replaced with their magnetic bolt. I'll tell you what, them <clears throat> bolts are tough to get off. There's blue Loctite in there. Uh, I tried a little heat, tried some oil. Finally, I just broke out my impact, which I probably should have did uh, in the first place. And uh, I got lucky and had a bit that fit that, and I couldn't tell you the size right offhand. But uh, turned my uh, Milwaukee up to three, my, my little impact here. And it uh, it did wonders. Took it right out. So the wiring is just floating pretty much right here. Uh, I'm probably going to end up putting some electrical tape around that and secure that connection better for the water and weather and all that good stuff. But it's just, just floating there. It goes up here and it attaches to the upper A arm and uh, uh, my brake line. Sorry. And this ran it up there, and I got the temperature sensor also installed. Uh, in my opinion, them are the two hardest, or a little bit more difficult, they're not that hard to install. So I didn't even bother taking this off right here. I just uh, pretty much just marked it and made my cut here. And a little bit of fluid came out of there, but I did drain down here first. Uh, quite a bit came out. I actually got a little bit worried because my container, as you can see, got pretty close to full. Made a little mess, but not too bad. I did want to mention I did use Loctite on the magnetic bolt as well. And I use a little bit of Loctite right here to secure that bolt for the speedometer sensor. So I just got done with the install. Everything went pretty smooth. I also put on a Tusk shifter, foot shifter, and uh, some Tusk ultra white bright lights as well, which I'll show you here in a minute. This is a shifter. Lights are 35 watts, about 5 watts more than stock. I'm glad it's not the stock yellow. A little bit brighter, not a whole lot, but not a nice, clear, crisp uh, tone to the light. Well, so that's about it. Everything went pretty smooth. Uh, just make sure you have enough wire uh, where you run stuff. Make sure you always turn in your handlebars. Make sure you ain't pinching no wires. Uh, I did go and go right into the coil. Let's see if I could get a good shot of it. Uh, right here. Kind of see. That's my orange wire. It'd go in the bottom of my coil. I got a piggyback on there for the Power Commander 5. So I just went right into that connector and plugged in my piggyback for the power commander into that. Uh, pretty simple. Get a little crazy with the zoom there. But yeah, that's it. Stay tuned. Be safe.